YouTube, it's Maya here. Welcome back to my channel and guys, welcome to one of my first videos in 2018. That is so weird to say because it's still 2017 when I'm filming this, but it will be 2018 when you guys are watching this, so that's crazy. But as you guys know, it was recently just Christmas and Christmas is one of my favorite times of the year. It's the best time for videos. It's the best time for giving, family and friends. And of course, presents. If you can even see them, they're down there. So as you guys can tell, I am doing a What I Got For Christmas 2017, and I just want to put this out there. This video is not out here to offend anybody who didn't get anything for Christmas or who didn't get what they wanted for Christmas. Remember, Christmas is about spending time with your friends and your family. It's not all about getting gifts, so if you spent time with your friends or your family or people that you love this Christmas, then you really accomplish the whole goal of Christmas. It's not about just getting gifts. Also guys, if you've never been to my channel before, I'm Maya Hennessy, and if you like what you're seeing, then please subscribe to my channel, click that little bell, though you will always be notified whenever I make new videos, and let's not dawdle on anymore and get straight into the video. Also guys, I just want to point out, I am super sorry for the amount of echo in this video. If you guys didn't know, I'm down in my Florida house for Christmas, and my Florida house has so much echo. Ugh. Also, if you hear a beeping noise throughout the video, the fire detector on the ceiling that is like 15 feet high needs battery replacing, so I'm super sorry for the amount of noise in this video. <laughs> so guys, I would definitely say Christmas 2017 was a very successful Christmas, and I also noticed that I am not getting any more toys or little kid things anymore. It's just super weird, like I have such a hard time wrapping my brain around the fact that I'm not a child anymore, so it's super weird to like open presents on Christmas Day and not get any toys anymore because that's literally all I would get for so, so many years. And now I'm to the point where I don't get toys anymore. So it's like, it's so weird. <laughs> so one of the first things I got for Christmas is all of this headgear. Um, I got these super cute cat ears. I've always wanted cat ears like this, so that's awesome. I also got this star headband one. My mom thinks I should wear this on New Year's and I think that's a great idea. I got two flower crowns. I used to be super into flower crowns and I'm not that much anymore, but I think I'm gonna get back into them. I got these three headbands, this red one, this brownish one, and then this white one. And I also got this golden leaf and flower headband thingy. It's super, super cute and I really love these. Also with the headgear, I got these two beanies that are super cute and they also have interchangeable pom-poms. So with this gray one, there's a purple pom-pom and a white pom-pom that I can interchange. And with the black one, there's like a black pom-pom and a grayish tan pom-pom. I just said the word pom-pom a lot. That's, one, that's a fun word to say. Next up, I got this really cute heart necklace. I also got these wonderful hoop earrings from my dad. So thanks dad. <laughs> Going on with things that I wear, I asked my parents for a lot of fuzzy socks for Christmas because I don't have that many fuzzy socks and what girl doesn't like fuzzy socks? So my parents got me fuzzy socks. I've got this red and pink striped pair. I've got a pink and black striped pair that have this cute little design on the ankles. And then I have this black and white sweater looking socks. I also got a lot of sportswear slash dance convention outfits that I can wear. So starting off, I have this shirt, and yes, all the tags are still on my presents. I haven't taken them off yet. But starting off, I have this shirt that says Lightly Salted, and I absolutely love this color. I also got a whole lot of bralettes, so I got a pink bralette, a light gray bralette, a dark gray one and a black one. Next up, I've got all of the sports bras that I got. I have this really cute gray one, this gray and burgundy one that I really love, uh, this really floral colorful one, and then finally this really cool cool colored one. Moving on to pants, I have this really nice Lululemon shorts. And then I also have some leggings. I have these really cool burgundy leggings. I really love the design on them. I don't know if you can see them on the camera, but look at this design, it's so cool. And then I just have some plain black ones. 
not too, too much to see. <laughs> They're just some nice Lululemon leggings to go jogging, to go to the gym, to go to dancing, all that nice stuff. Alrighty, so we're all done with clothes. Now to move on to the objects and other things that I got for Christmas besides clothes. Starting off, I have these gift cards. I have this gift card to Free People and this gift card to Ulta. These are both from my grandmother, I believe. I also got the 2014 production Miss Saigon soundtrack. I am obsessed with this musical at the moment. It's one of my favorites and I got the CD soundtrack of it. And I'm still really salty that it's closing on January 14th. You know, it's fine. Next up, I got this really cute pink wallet. It's got two sides I can open. It's got all my cards in there. And then over here, it's just kind of a place for money and other things that I want to put in my purse, like my phone. Now, moving on to makeup, I got two eyeshadow palettes for Christmas. I got a really cool Tarte palette. Look how it opens. You hold it up like this, and then the sides come out like, ah, isn't that so cool? So I actually already have all of these colors in separate palettes of Tarte, but it's kind of nice to have them all in one. And it also comes with some blush and some contour and some really shimmery highlight on the sides. It also comes with mascara, eyeliner, and two lipsticks. Next, I got this awesome palette from Smashbox. The packaging is super trippy. I don't think you can tell on the camera, but moving it around, it like makes my eyes hurt. On the inside, it's got some eyeshadow palettes, some contour, cheek stuff, and some blush. So I apologize, they're not just eyeshadow palettes. They're like travel to go whole face palettes. Now moving on to the technology side of my Christmas presents. First off, I have this four terabyte hard drive to put all of my projects and such and such on here and I definitely needed this. Next up, I got this Osmo Mobile, I think it's kind of like a gimbal sort of thing. If you guys don't know what a gimbal is, that's some serious like technology camera vocabulary. So basically what a gimbal is, it's like a tripod, but it's really not. You hold on to it and you can move it around and it like manually stables your camera. That way it's not shaking all over the place. So I think I got one for the iPhone. It's really cool. Actually, my sister opened hers and it looks pretty interesting. And I don't really use my phone to record things, but Maybe I will, or maybe it'll hit, fit onto my vlog camera. If it fits with my vlog camera, that would be awesome. Next up, I got this awesome, awesome gift. If you guys didn't know, I am redecorating my room at the moment. Um, my How Girls Get Ready for Christmas video will show you a sneak peek at what my new room is looking like. And basically, I'm just going out and looking for new furniture, new decorations, just everything to redo my room because I really didn't like my room before. So for Christmas, I got these awesome lights. So basically what these are, these are electronic LED lights for your room. You can set them up in a certain pattern and then with your mobile device, you can change the colors. And I think I'm gonna be the type of person to change the colors depending on my mood or like how relaxed or how stressed I feel. But these are so cool and I seriously cannot wait to put these in my room. I have no clue where they're gonna go. I'm either debating to put it over my bed or over my desk. So if you guys have any suggestions, my desk and my bed is also shown in my How Girls Get Ready for Christmas. So if you guys check out that video and see how my room looks, leave a comment down below on where you think I should put this in my room. Next up on the electronic list, I guess you would consider this electronic, I got, oh my God, I got a sleeping pug. <laughs> That's right, my sister gave me this sleeping pug for Christmas. It is super cute and she knows that when I grow up, I wanna have a pet pug. I really want a pug dog because they're super, super cute. And so my sister went and bought this sleeping pug and it's still on. So basically I turned this thing on on Christmas day and it's currently like the 29th or the 30th. So it's been on for about five days and it's still sleeping. This is the only thing it does. It just sleeps. And if you guys want to know what I'm talking about, it's stomach moves up and down. I don't think you can tell on the camera. 
It's really, really subtle, but it just moves up and down to show that he's breathing. And if you listen really, really close, he makes like little sleeping noises, but that's all he does. So sleeping pug. And even though the only thing this pug does is sleep, my mom thought it'd be a fun idea to get accessories. She got him a little chew toy and some dog food and some bones, even though the dog can't interact with them. And I also have a, a little brush to brush on his fur. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. <laughs> okay, so I saved the best thing for last. This is my all-time favorite gift that I've gotten this year, and I love this thing to death. If you guys didn't see, I came out with a short Christmas film. It was very, very amateur, but over the summer I went to a film camp and that's kind of where I learned how to do camera, lighting, sound, all that kind of stuff, color correcting, blah, blah, blah. And I used all of those skills for the short film. Now, I don't have a boom mic or a mixer or anything to record sound, so we just use the sound on my camera. But usually when you're doing a real film, you'll have separate sound, separate camera, all that stuff. And then in post or editing, you sync them up together, that way your voice goes with the video. Now to sync them up in post, since you can't see the audio, you can only hear it, directors and film people, they use a thing called a marker. You probably have seen a marker. And I didn't use a marker because number one, I don't have one. And number two, I wasn't using sound, so there really wasn't any point to it. But for Christmas, I, got a marker. Now if you guys are wondering what the heck a marker is, it's not a crayon marker. It is a film marker. I literally cannot wait to use this. I hope to make more short films and films in the future. So having this at home with me is super helpful. So maybe one day I'll get some sound stuff or I could just not use it for sound stuff and just go action. <laughs> So guys, that was the what I got for Christmas video, at least the stuff that I have down here. There is some stuff I'm missing because there are some presents waiting for me at home. But this is the stuff I got from Santa and from my parents and from my grandparents. And if you guys want, please leave a comment down below on what you got for Christmas and what your favorite gift was. Well guys, that was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, click right over there to see my last video. And if you want to see behind the scenes or just more of me, then please check out my social media links down below. And always remember guys, when you're in the spotlight, strut your stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!